I never thought something this miraculous could happen to me. It's so holy. How did you know? Oh, well, it's just a woman's intuition, you know? Were you afraid to tell your husband? No. He's behind it 100%. You know, immaculate conception happened before. It can happen again. Hello? Oh, we're in here. Hello. Hi. Hey. What do you want? Who are you? Um, We're Tyler, just... they're filming me. For what? They're making a documentary about the baby. Uh. You didn't think we were going to keep it a secret, did you? Oh, uh, kind of. You're just going to have to get used to it, okay? Could you give us some privacy, please? <laughs> I met Grace about a month ago at a crystal conference that I went to. I was trying to clear some negative energy that had been kind of haunting me. We just found out that it was a girl and I thought all messiahs were boys. And that's when Grace stepped in. Uh, she heard Tyler's sexist comment and uh, put him in his place a little bit, if I do say so myself. And we became fast friends. Uh, it was there at the conference that I asked her if she wanted to become my doula and attend the birth of the baby, and uh, she was very excited. I really hope you're not going to embarrass me there today. Really? I am. You better keep it to yourself. Whatever you're thinking, whatever you want to say, just don't, okay? And let me do the talking. I think it'd be better that way. You look amazing. Thank you. You're glowing. Oh, you, you just too. I just I can't believe you. Come over here. Yeah. Come. Yes. You know, I'm just before we begin anything, right away, I'm just gonna go ahead and sage you a little bit. This sort of cleanses out some of the overinflated like aura of the male ego a little bit, you know, just brings it down. I'm just gonna do your crown chakra a little bit. Yeah. Okay, and just right over here. I just see right there. There's a lot. Maybe you should there's turn a around. Lot. There's a lot. Turn around. In this shoulder, right in this shoulder blade. Wow, yeah. Are you an aggressive person? That's okay. Okay, turn around one more time. From the top and then down again. There we go. We'll have to do for now, but I think, you know, I have a shaman you should go see and I help with that. Of course, you don't need a man to impregnate you. I. I <laughs> I mean, look at you, your, your whole being, you know, you're, you're a blossom, you just glow. Um, I just, except there's a little something over here. Um, there, can you sit on the floor? I just want to ground the male energy a little bit. There's this, you know, there's a, there's a little right. space down there. You might have some cat hair, but don't worry about it. Um, we'll clean it up afterwards. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Um, you know, I just, when I overheard you arguing, I was like, why? You know, clearly this beautiful vessel, you know, anything is possible. It's just, you know, what else do you need? Mm. You're a complete being, you know, who needs a man for, you know, a conception really? Or anything. Yeah. You're a miracle. You know, yes. you're a, a, um, a goddess like the, the Arabic goddess Perry, you know, you know, she, oh. she, um, you know, would fruit trees, you know, she would just blow oh. when, and the trees would just blossom, fruit would just fall off of trees. And, um, yeah, you just remind me of her. So how did you and Tyler meet? We met in high school. Um, he was not in the same group as I was. Um, I was very popular. Not so much with the girls, but with the guys. And Tyler was into some really weird things in high school and I did not. We didn't hang out too much. I did a lot of LARPing, uh, live action role playing. And so we were, you know, camped out in the en encampment in the woods for a lot of high school, um, you know, and making foam swords and trading hit points and magical potions and, um, and all that. So I was kind of, you know, I was kind of busy. 
he's a great guy, you know, he really takes care of me. And Whose idea was it to get married? Uh, she pretty much decided, and yeah, I was okay with that. And, uh, but you know, I'd kind of like to have sex with her once, maybe at least, and get uh, something out of it. I mean, I'm getting something out of it, but. Are you excited for the baby to be born? Yeah, definitely. Um, I want to see what it looks like, you know? Or is it going to look like an alien? Is it going to have like a big clear skull? Or like have no bones? Maybe it'll just be like a jellyfish. Or, um, you know, maybe it will just like not look like, not be anything and just evaporate into the air. Or like, you know, uh, change dimensions right away. When I first met Elise, I mean, it was like the stars aligned, you know? It was amazing. I mean, Jupiter was in conjunct with Venus at that time, so that was happening. And I knew she needed to meet my spirit sister, Bridget, intuitively. I knew because Bridget would totally resonate with the truth of a female messiah. And so we all came together and we went on a vision quest to the Appalachian Mountains. And on that quest, the name of Elisa's daughter was revealed to us, Luna. And then we knew that our followers would be branded, our devotees would be Lunacites. Yeah, so I'm trying to remember. I believe it was at the Women's Herbal Conference that yes, I was. first met Bridget. You know, I was just, you know, drawn to her aura. And maybe, you know, I think it was a past life connection probably too. It was after it was I broke It was by the purple my... tent. We were in a purple tent right. near um, the falafel stand. And we were in a drum circle. That's right. That's right. The drumming circle. It was the second night. And I really wanted to do it. But I, I like had overdone it the last night. And That's I broke right. my djembe. And I lent her my djembe. That's right. Yes. Right, right. Right. And I also gifted her with a third chakra healing. I had sensed a lot of... Um, <sighs> Fear. There was a lot of anger. No, I, I actually I remember different. I, I I believe it was it was your chakra, your third chakra that was really muddy, and um, I had to do I, a know, lot I've done, of staging. I've done a lot of work on my third chakra. So at that, especially at that point, um, I had traveled. I had been living in Costa Rica, Pachamama. So mm. I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it doesn't resonate. Anyway, all in all, I am. I'm just so happy to to meet Elise and I, I knew that I needed to be a part of it. Grace had been telling me all about this, this. It, an incredible, incredible discovery. And yeah. you know, I had I had had this extremely tasty, delicious dream and my karmic calling and my ayahuasca journey. Right, right. And and, and, it, and this all just came to me and it, and it seemed I mean even now th this was this was a part of my dream. Actually, Bridget has some. I to have. Share, I do. I have the perfect place oh. for us to reveal this sacred information. I host every year a Burning Man decompression party. And awesome. I feel that this would be the perfect, the perfect end to the beginning, and the beginning of the end, and the beginning and the end of the beginning and the beginning. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So let's continue. So we're gonna hand out these flyers. Do I have any soil in my teeth? I've been on this all earth, all dirt diet. It's really, really alkalizing. Yeah, we're gonna hand out these flyers. We're gonna, we gotta do the work. We gotta, you know, really get out there in the street, you know? Bring the people, bring the people to Luna. It's gonna be fun. Well, I've been here for a little while and it hasn't been, you know, all responsive, but I, I really feel that um, piece. Um, I really feel that, you know, my energy is going to attract 
the right people to the Lunasite gathering, you know, and whoever whoever comes is gonna be meant to be there, you know? Come to the Lunasite gathering. Oh, we'll find the right, we'll find the right people, you know? Greetings, come to the Lunasite gathering. No thanks. Greetings, sister. Come to the Lunasite Gathering. Awaken your feminine power. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, you have a little something in your teeth. Oh. It's all right. It's Mother Nature. Oh, okay. Mother Nature. Bye. I, uh, come, Route 123. Okay. Join us. Thank you. It's going to be amazing. Ooh, sorry about the smell of patchouli. My son just spilled my whole bottle on the couch. So we're on our way to our first ever Lunasite gathering at Sunshine Daycare. <clears throat> Excuse me. Walker. Easy. He's such a sweet heart. Uh, it's just my, my anchor, my life juice. <laughs> Uh, yes, I'm really, I'm really, really thankful, so grateful to the Sunshine Daycare Center for letting us use their space for the Lunasite meeting. Yeah, I, I love children. I love children. I'm just, I'm just not ready to be a mother yet, and, and being here really um, helped me realize that. I'm not ready to make that mistake. <laughs> just, I'm just kidding. Don't use that. Can you cut that part out? <laughs> Got a loose tongue. My guru always says, "Get a loose tongue." <laughs> I was a lunacite before there were lunacites, so it was written in the stars for me to be at the first gathering. Although I don't remember how I got there. Greetings, sister. Greetings, sister. Please come in and form a full moon. Greetings. Welcome to the Luna Sanctuary. <laughs> Please come in, join us, join us. We did a lot of things that I do in my own personal practice. Collect menzies. Pour your menzies directly into the dirt. Blessed be. Howl at the moon. Okay, that's enough. I loved it. I really did. Sisters, I do have a list of people who haven't put their deposit down. Oh, um, for oh our next right. celebration. Yeah. Um, conversing with the rosebud of delight. It's gonna be amazing. Oh, that's so, amazing. Um, yeah. They should really. You can wait. No, you don't want to wait. But really, that just interrupts the flow of energy. Yeah. To get the most out of this, you want to pay as soon as you can. Yes, you should pay by the seventh. Yeah, it's a very, seven. very oh, holy magical number. Well, it's a very holy number. I love seven. seven. I think. I think you know. It is. It's magical. Holy. Probably not the right. It's ancient. Yeah, that's goes back to Egypt. Magical. One evening, I was cutting an avocado, as an addition to my kale hemp salad. Delish. And within the crevasse, where the seed once fertilized, I saw the shape of the mystical infant nestled in the womb of the green fruit. And I knew, I knew, I knew the Messiah was coming. So I took a picture of the imprint on my iPhone and posted it to Facebook. Mm. And I ate the precious baby shape as to become a part of me and guide me in my meditations and my bowel movement divinations. And so it was on the waxing of the third moon where this dream become a reality when I received word by text message from Grace that she had found a vessel of light 
a goddess, an empress, pregnant with the Messiah. <gasps> oh. I take no credit for this. No I, credit. I'm a messenger. Just a messenger. A seer, if you will. The purity of my spirit's essence just attracted this holiness to my shop on Elliot and Maine. Ooh, Muse. I love that story. The Bye shift time. is upon us. Do you feel it? Sisters. I feel it. The child of our great alien ancestors will soon arrive and save us from ourselves. And here she is, Luna Sites, Elise, our modern day liberated Mary. Welcome. Welcome, sister. All is one. feeling really positive about what just occurred in there. Me too. Uh, that was just, it was magical. Overwhelming. It was overwhelming. And I've I, never felt that way in my life. I'm so, I'm so happy to hear that. Yeah. So I was thinking um, in terms of your birthing options. Okay. That it would be really amazing if you give birth here with the chickens I'm, as a symbol of the see, holy egg, right. you know? I, I see what you're saying. In there, just get in there with the feathers and the mud and mm. and, and we can be, all be naked. Well, and we know, can crack eggs around and we can just feel the embryos just start I and yet I um I have to say maybe we should hold off. I mean, I don't have my pendulum with me to kind of douse where it might be a good area. Well, I'm I'm feeling drawn in that direction, mm. kind of an easterly you know, it seems. I understand, pregnant. but there's a lot of. I, I, you know, I'm detoxing right now, so I'm really clear. Okay. You know, okay. and and this over here, I'm getting a lot of purple, purples, right. purples on this side, You're and I'm feeling. An yes, I'm feeling. I'm feeling orange in this. I'm feeling like yeah. orange, like bright, like orange. Okay. You know, okay. I'm in the mud. Guides oh. are, are giving me in the mud right now. My guides are giving me that this is too sort of reminiscent of the manger. Mm. And we kind of, this is, yeah. this is something new. We want to get away from mm. the liberation kind of, of Mary, Christian the liberation, right? Yes. Kind of um, away from and, the male domination. You know, I hear that. It just right. seems really dirty in there, too. True. It's really kind of, kind but of it's wrong. nature. But this is, this is exactly. Yeah. This is the mother. You know, this is the it goddess. is mother. You know, God made dirt, God has made dirt, dirt don't hurt. Dirt don't hurt. Right? <laughs> um, oh, can you see? I can see the moon. Oh. Come. Let's come to a circle. Let's gather. Let's gather. Let's gather. I'm so excited to be with my sisters. Mm -hmm. And to have the beautiful Sindel here. She's a new spirit, but she has some ancient wisdom to share with us. Mm. She's going to allow us to connect more to our goddess energy through some sacred dance. I see auras, and I can see just, it's just really intense with you. You have yellows and blues, and I mean, what do you, what do you attribute that to? I'm happy to share this with you all. I'm a vegetarian. And what is that? I only eat yonic foods. Oh, yonic foods. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, circles, mm. foods that are round right. mm. and triangular. Like pizza. Pizza's okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, not pepperoni pizza. Yeah. Mm. So, no, no carrot, no carrots. Yeah, mm. anything that penetrates the earth in okay. such a way. Okay, cucumbers? No. No cucumbers. No. No cucumbers. Yeah, no hot dogs. No hot dogs. Or bananas. Right, right. I haven't eaten bananas since I was 13. Right. Eggs are great. I eat eggs. a lot of eggs every day. Eggs. Well, why don't we get started? Let's move our bodies. Nice. Nice. Okay, step the feet out. Mm. Let's practice some deep breathing. 
Find your inner triangle. Draw it down your center to the heart. Point it down to the earth. Let it go. Okay. Take your vagina on a ride. Take it on a train track. Take it on a roller coaster. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. So Sindel, what do you think of the lunacites? I'm a total convert. Born again lunacite. I've seen the moonlight. Nick of the Prince of Tides, five letters. Stall. That is such a stupid answer. I can't believe you said that. It's not it. it begins with N. Can't wait till Eric gets here. He'll probably know. Who is Eric? Eric's Tyler's brother. He's my favorite family member of Tyler's family. Except for you. Surprise! Hey guys! Hope I'm not interrupting. What's up, little bro? Hey! How are you, buddy? Oh, hi, I'm here. You. That's that soon, huh? Oh, come on! Don't, don't, don't take notes of the G. Hi! How are you, <laughs> sweet cakes? How are you? Woo! Looking so Sex. nice, nice. Oh my god. Feel a kick. What are, what are we expecting? Boy or a girl? It's a girl. <laughs> it's a girl. Yeah. I'm glad to see you. It's so good to see you. Yeah, you too. Good to see you. Tyler, are you writing in stall? No. Don't write in stall. away before you started doing the other dishes. No. How many times have I told you? How many times have I told you just put away the dishes before you start doing the dishes? I wasn't made to be a housewife and I wasn't made to do housework at all. I'm not a maid, you know? I shouldn't even be here. There's a billion other places I should be. Yeah, I was at the first Lunasite gathering. Um, I was doing a lot of peyote at the time, so I'm not exactly sure what was happening on this dimension, but I do remember being really captivated by Bridget's speech. You know, she speaks in fractals. I don't know if you knew that, uh, but I, I whisper in sacred geometry, so me and my life partner, Nat, we started the lipstick Lunasite sect. Uh, we're by far the most the most pure. She's beautiful, isn't she? We met at the co-op and then we moved into this intentional community here where we farm goji berries. Nat is a true leader of the Lipstick Lunas. I'm more the mouthpiece because Nat has taken a vow of silence and she only speaks through yogic dance. Oh. Oh yes, of course. No, I understand. I understand. Um, she's feeling uncomfortable because the camera is stealing her soul. So, would you like me to rebalance your Shashumna column? Yeah, she would. She'd like that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do it. Mm, yeah. Mm. Mm. To me, the Immaculate Conception is obvious. 
It's Atlantis. Our alien ancestors are coming home to us. The Palladian system. I mean, can't you just feel them orbiting around us right now? Excuse me, I'm just going to meditate for a moment. I'll forget it, you know, I'll just transcend while we talk. I'm, uh, I'm going to the best hospital in Maine, and I have the best obstetrician in Maine, Dr. Michael McLean. He's been amazing. <laughs> I couldn't be happier with him. We are going to have Elise induced on the 25th of June, a Capricornian mother energy to the Cancerian father energy that has been dominating our society for so long. It's also three days after the solstice. It is a ripe time. The altar is prepared. The people are ready. The rising of the moon is now. You know, ever since Bridget and I decided we weren't going to do the thing in the woods that she'd suggested, but she was fine with it. And then I think she really likes him too. And, you know, hopefully I'll only be there a few days, but we'll have to see. I could end up being there for longer. Um, he could want to see me for longer. How do you turn this thing on? Let's go! Tyler! What are you doing? They wanted me to film it and they're not here. Tyler! We are not filming this! Do you have any idea women's faces when they have babies? Do you know they poop on the table? Give me this! Give it to me! Let's go! Tyler. Tyler. Hold her for this. Okay. She makes me look too matronly. Get her head. Okay. So how was the birth? The birth was amazing. I mean, I always knew that I was a strong and powerful woman, but there was something about giving birth that just really made me feel strong and powerful. I think I did a great job. Don't you? Don't you think I did a good job? Yeah. You were kind of out of it with that epidural thing and Oh, you know, all that. I mean, come on, Mary would have had an epidural if she had a baby in today's day and age, don't you think? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> we'd, we'd give you a look at the baby, but we have an exclusive with People Magazine coming up and we wouldn't want to blow that. <laughs> She's beautiful though. Yeah. And we're so happy. We can't wait to show the world our new messiah. She doesn't really look like an alien, though. Here we are. It has arrived. We're here together at the Lunaside Gathering. Um, I am a keynote speaker. And um, I am just thrilled with the attendance and the energy, the love. There's just so much going on right now. There's a lot of sort of trading energy, commerce energy. It's really good. I can, you know, feel it growing. The Lunacites are special people. They, um, but they are also your neighbors. They're your dental assistants. They're your bankers. They're, um, you know, the people who bag your groceries and, um, yeah.
Well, here we are at my new crib. We just purchased this and we're working on the remodeling of it. We extended this wing for me, my swimming pool, and my new baby. The grandeur is humbling to me. Uh, down this way we have the bedrooms. We've got a lot of people coming to stay with me now. I suspect Brad and Angelina. We've got a bedroom for every child. So we're on our way to see Lise. It's been a little hard to channel her. I mean, we've been visiting her on the astral plane, but... Right. Uh, oh my goddess. This is absolutely um, out. What is she thinking? I mean, how many bedrooms do you think this has? I can't even... I, I can't mean, even if you're not housing little anything. African children, I don't know why you'd have them. Really? Completely I mean, lost the message. Like, this is not what it's about. This is not what I it's mean, about. my house is very humble. Your house is very humble. Right. And what are we supposed to do here? Knock on this thing like it's Transylvania? Oh what is going to be behind that door? This is not a warm community feeling. No, not at all. This is very separate. Mm -hmm. I'm so, hold on just a second. Hi, greetings. Hi, Welcome. Come on in. Oh. Come on in. Thank you. I'll have the butler take your um, pelt and your blanket. Just, um, anyway, never mind about that. You know, I really enjoy I, I am just flabbergasted. Have you seen this? Move over, Tom and Katie. Elise and Tyler are the new it couple to watch for. I mean, Elise opens up about her immaculate conception, raising a holy being, and how she lost all the baby weight. But she hasn't really lost all the baby weight. She hasn't. She's cool. Hi. Hello. I'm so happy. It is so lovely here. Beautiful view. Yes. And, and yeah. I'd love to give you a tour of the whole place if you have a second. Well, maybe later, but we have some things that we need to talk yeah, about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Grace and I were discussing about the Luna sites, and we are feeling that the energy has been morphing a bit. It's been kind of congealing on the bottom like, like oil. Yeah. And we need it to rise back to the top. We need to bring the flow back into oh, the lunacite meetings. You know, kind of be conscious of where the energy, the monetary energy, the spiritual energy. Yes, the, all of it. The monetary energy yeah. is going. Because, you know, we are, we are a trinity. Mm -hmm. We are of three course. points. Absolutely. Absolutely. We are three points. We are three holy goddesses Absolutely. here Definitely. together, okay. and we need to make we need to remember that, especially when we are in a financial situation. And okay. I think you need a media detox. I think we need to get some candles in here, oh, and we need to re-engage. We, we need re to remember. We need to be the holy trinity that we started as. Join again. Divide. And focus. And divide the proceeds the way right. they are meant to be divided. Right. The energy ways. of that monetary you know, gift. Because so money, because money is energy. Right. Money is energy, right. and energy is light, and light is love, and right. all is love. Right. And moon, 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 moon. Mm, 33, 33. Let the mm. money flow. Yes, because the Trinity yes. the money, Trinity. money is energy, and energy is light, and light yes. is love. Did you feel that? Um, you feel uh, that? Yeah, mm. definitely, mm. definitely. Mm. definitely. Mm, it's right, it's right. I am, I am yes. so happy we're here. Yeah. Well, I'm really happy. Yeah. And I'm so happy you fully understand what we brought for you today, and that you received it, and I feel it in your third eye, that it is bright and shining and glowing in this truth. With what we brought to you, and what yes. you bring to us. Mm. Yes. You yes. will bring. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well. How about that tour? I, I saw that there was a jacuzzi. Priorities, Tyler. Priorities? God. I've really been looking forward to going to the Daily Show. Jon Stewart's really gonna like me, you know? He loves smart, funny women. Yeah. And I can't believe he asked you to be on the show, too. I mean, what a hoot. Like, you had anything to do with this anyway. I mean, what would you talk about? 
You're so awkward. <laughs> a lot. Water. Corn. Politics. You have to stay and watch Luna, so don't even think about it. I can watch you if you like. Don't be silly, Liliana. You have to pick up my dry cleaning. So I just got to Elise's and um, I'm here to talk to her about the, the state of Luna. Uh, she's got lots and lots of energy, you know, um, but I, I don't really trust her in interviews. I mean, she is the messiah. She's, we just have to, I just think I, I've talked to Grace about it. And um, I just think it's it's the best thing for me to to talk to to talk to them to talk to them about it. How do you feel about being the Messiah? Well, I don't know. I guess it's all right, but I like going to gymnastics and playing with my friends. What is it like to have Mommy be so famous? Well, I don't see Mommy that much. I usually play with Daddy and Liliana. What are your favorite parts about being the Messiah? I get lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of candy. Do you guys want to smoke some DMT in here? Absolutely, yes. But first, I really need to process some of the latest Elise antics. Oh, I can't, I can't. How she slept with all the I male can't. centaurs. Oh my goddess, it's oh, just. And how she was in the Little John video. Right, the, what, I mean, I, I don't know oh, what to and say. And the dry humping Oprah's couch. I hadn't even heard of that. It's just, I mean, the point is, her antics are affecting our chi. I totally agree. I totally agree. And that does too. Thank you. You know, when I was on my priestess path, I was told to take a moonstone right. and insert it directly into my birth canyon. Oh. And then I was to leave it there until I heard a falcon praise my name. Hmm. So when I finally extracted it, right. it was black. Ew. It went from clear right. to black. Ew. So, maybe we should have Elise do that. Huh. That's, you know, that's an idea. Or, mm -hmm. we could join our lunacite groups and become more powerful in the organization. Mm, I really, really resonate with that idea. 
Thank you. Do you like that? Thank you. Is that a yes? Yes. Is it? Yeah. Oh, Matt right. likes that too. Excellent. We'd love to do that. Okay. I'll join you. Where's that DMT? Yeah, let's get on that. All right. So, I still love Elise and everything, but you know how things go. They just sort of fell apart. And... Are you dating Liliana now? Yes, we are so happy together. Yeah, and uh, we're going to Puff Daddy's yacht in the south of France in a couple of weeks, and I was in a new Wes Anderson movie. We're going to go to Cannes. You know, so things are pretty good for me. He said that? That's what Tyler said. Huh. Well, I moved on first. Let's get that straight. I hooked up with Ryan Gosling. And obviously, I had to break up with Tyler for him. Then when we broke up, I was with James Franco for a while. And Samantha Ronson and I had a thing. What happened with you and the Lunacites? Oh, well... I'm still the modern-day Mary. No one can take that from me. But you know how religions are. All about iconography. Screw the critics, right? I mean, how can you overexpose holiness? I'm going to be on The uh, Celebrity Apprentice. And I'm really looking forward to that. Things are good. Things are really good. Um, they're not the same, but they're good. I'm sorry, what was the question? My mind is a little Occupy Wall Street lately. <laughs> oh, how are you? How are, how are you? I, you can't answer me, I forgot. Um, I am good. I am good, I am good. Um, me and Grace have gone our separate ways, which is good. I just felt that her branch of the lunacites was a little bit dogmatic for my taste. But we still run into each other at gatherings and at the Mega Moon Lunacite Yurt. You know, we have a lot of history. <laughs> We've shared tents, jembies, men, women, diva cups. <laughs> so what's the difference between your factions? Well, um, Grace, she just got a little bit ahead of herself, you know, with all her beliefs. And although she may have more members in her branch than I do per se, I, I really feel that it's about, you know, quality versus quantity. You know, change is constant. And for me, it was never about the money. I am, and I always will be a revolutionary. Always. You know, and it's, it's really about the lunacites. It's beyond us. Our job is done. Hmm. Amazing. Great. I mean, uh, the Lunacite iPhone app has totally taken off. So has our social networking site. I mean, we don't have as many members as Facebook, but we're gaining and we are going to be there by the end of the year. It's just, I have to take this. I'm sorry. Can we stop for a second? Talk to me. No, no, no. No, 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 wait, listen to me. I am not paying you to think, I'm paying you to do. If you can't go through China, go through India. I've been explicit and I expect it done. Sorry, I mean, we're dealing with China and they just haven't entered the Aquarian age. It's, it's tough. Anyway, where was I? My Stormuse 
has franchised. It's just a dream come true. And uh, before I forget, my new CD um, is filled with meditations and, you know, inspired chants. And um, it's called Blinded by My Inner Light. Number three on iTunes. Right below Gaga and Rihanna. I mean, I'm blessed. Can I say? I, I truly am. But you know, good things come to those who wait. Let's go. He's here. Holly, Holly, Mrs. Davidson. Oh, I'm so glad I tracked you down. I'm a reporter. I just wanted to get a quick comment about Elise, your granddaughter, and her being a messiah and the Lunasites. You guys are completely out of your minds. So it's Luno now? Yeah, Luno. I had to follow my own path and this is where it took me. Were your parents supportive of your decision to transition? Dad, well, Tyler and Liliana certainly were. But at least it took her some time to come around. She was a little worried about what the media and the Luna sites would think. Um, but after her uh, time with Dr. Drew in Celebrity Rehab, she, uh, she came around and now she's actually dating one of my buddies. So what do you do now? Well, I cultivate the land. I spent some time in Africa nursing AIDS kittens. Um, and then uh, I've been uh, working on turning uh, carrots into candy. Are you the Messiah? Well, I'm not sure. Certainly not the one everyone wanted me to be. But look, I gotta go. So hopefully you found what you're looking for. I want to give a shout out to my warrior women, ladies, I know it's hard sometimes, the solar flares have got you irritable, I've been there, I know what it's like when your man is a shaman and keeps sending you nightmares, your astrologer won't call you back, well sisters, I've made it to the other side, listen up, I'm guided by my inner light, be guided. Separated from the oneness.